Hey there! Now we have a flight computer related question, so please take it out and follow us through. Apologies but this video won't actually show what we're doing on the pulley, but our talking will pretty much explain everything to do for this question step by step. My flight computer course I'll be releasing in the future will show what to do for every type of question you can expect. A lot of questions from general navigation, flight planning, instruments and meteorology use the flight computer so you will need to become a master of it. It will feature detailed explanations and video walkthroughs on how to solve every single ATPL flight computer related question. It will feature things that no other training provider has done before, for example flowcharts that can solve any question from the banks. This will put your fear of what to do for hundreds of questions behind you. This is part 3 of a lesson which shows the tutoring that I offer that you can have as well. If you're interested, send an email to approachatpl at gmail.com. All right, now let's take a look at your um, pulley now. We'll try a pulley question. Okay. So it's given us the following information and it wants to calculate the true track and ground speed. So it gives us the TAS, the heading and the wind. How would you go about doing this should be down the the wind side i think the other side yep how do you know what side do you use like the low side or the high side uh, the low side like based on the task yeah well the way you do it is you do the, the tas plus the wind speed and see if that's more than 300 so 225 okay. plus 60 is 285 and that's less than 300 yeah right because if the wind is pushing you, like it's directly a tailwind, then you'll go onto the high side, basically. But yeah, we'll use the low side here. All right. And then, yeah, just explain to me what you're doing. Um, uh, so firstly, you put the wind velocity. So Good. Yeah, we always, if we have the wind, always put that in. Yeah, first. 90. Yeah. And then 16 knots. Okay, so I need to set the test. You don't have to do it straight away. Okay. Because, you know, when you plot the 60 knots, it's the difference between the datum, which is the, the circle in the middle, and yeah. where you're plotting. So you could put that circle right, where, like, put it on a nice number. You could put it on 100. 200. Or 200. 200, okay. yeah. Put it on 200. And then okay. you need uh, to just have the inner circle lined up with 90 on the true heading you got that yeah yeah and then where, where how would you plot the wind where would you put it uh below 200 so 60 so it's uh, 182 for 186 uh, how would you do that 186 oh i see what you're doing but we're going down not six knots we're going 60 knots oh yeah Sorry, sorry. So then, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay, sorry. So 140. Yeah, good. So it's a lot of wind for our... So yeah. we're right near the edge of the disc. Okay, cool. Now, what's the next thing that we do? So now you set the dash. Yep. So you take the dot onto two onto, to five yeah which dot the one you plotted or the datum uh, the datum yeah good now you set the heading yeah so that's 123 yeah now just balance the drift Oh. So it's, what does that mean, balance drift? Uh, I forgot, man. I think it basically put... So since the wind is... So we normally have to balance the drift when we're putting the track underneath our true, in, it, true heading rather than heading. Because we've got the right. heading, it's nice and easy. So you've got your 123 under the true heading. Yep. Yeah. And the dot is near... We can read the track and ground speed off the dot right now. Yeah. I mean, the so drift the... and the ground speed. So what would your... 
So the ground speed is 72, 74, 76. Uh, well, mine's about one, 78, but yeah, 178. Yeah, 178, yeah. And then how do we work out the track? Uh, I forgot how to do it. Now. So that's fine. The, the, the drift, sorry, the ground speed, like you've done, is like up and down, right? Along those... Yeah wind ducks the drift is you know how much you're being pushed left and right so you yeah. see that five and that 10 and that 15 that's yeah. the scale that we use going left and right so we can see that it's just past the 10 isn't it yeah so let's just say 10 11 or whatever yeah yeah so and it's to the right of the datum isn't it that's right and if it's on the right do we add or subtract um uh to it to our heading you add it yeah because if you look at your true heading right if you look to the right yeah. the numbers get bigger look to the left they get smaller right yeah so then you do one two three plus um whatever plus 11 and then it gives you what so one three four yeah and that's yeah. our answer there it's uh, a but another way you can do that is also see that on your pulley right you see it's near the 10 or 11 yeah the dot yeah. if you look on the outside scale at the top of your true heading can you see it goes like 10 20 30 40 yeah if you just look at 11 there it should line up with 134 oh okay yeah that's another okay. way but when you were talking about balancing the drift okay yeah. um you only do that when your pulley sort of incorrectly set up because right now you see that big fat true heading well it's basically heading yeah, yeah it doesn't really yeah. matter it's true because you can do it in magnetic or compass, it's fine. But if if you've got the heading underneath there, you don't need to balance it. Okay. Right. If you've yeah. got the track underneath there, you do need to balance it because the wind, your track is probably not your heading. Yeah. Unless it's coming straight right. in front of you or behind you, the wind. Yeah. And the reason we do that is because if you don't know your heading, you're going to have to guess what your heading is. Right. And a good way to guess your heading is your track, because your track is not going to be miles off. Yeah? Right. So yeah. then you guess, and then you put the track underneath there, and then you find out where the dot is, and you recorrect, and you keep doing that process again. In the flowchart, it sort of shows that process. I'm going to be releasing more videos later on, I mean, going over this yeah. process. So I hope that was a good walkthrough of this question. If you think it was, please like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, all that jazz, so you can be notified when the next video is out. If you'd like this sort of help, send an email to approachatpl at gmail.com.